Hi, I'm Matt Hillebrand with Don's Appliances. I'm in front of a Thermador coffee maker. This is a model TCM24. This one's actually a P model, which means it's a plumb unit. So this not only has water going to it, but also has a drain going to it, which is a great, great feature. So this unit is saying that it needs to be descaled and cleaned, and it's urgently required. So typically on these machines, you get a reminder that it needs cleaned and descaled. And it is absolutely imperative that that gets done or you will damage the machine and you'll have a major service call. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna just toggle down to the start now, okay? And this is on the clean menu. So it automatically took, it to, uh, took us to that menu. If you're gonna do it without that particular menu, it's real easy. Just hit the clean button and it will get you to clean and descale. I recommend doing them both at the same time because it's a lot easier because this is gonna take eh, 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the start option. Now it's gonna tell us to clean the trays and replace them. So inside the coffee maker, we have these trays and bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly just rinse these out and then put them right back in. Okay. And we can do a thorough cleaning on those later, which we will do. Okay, so then it's gonna say place cleaning tab in the ground coffee drawer and close the ground coffee drawer. So you will need cleaning tabs and you will need the ice maker, or excuse me, coffee maker descaler. We will have those part numbers down below with the video. We do stock these at Don's Appliances. We can UPS them out. And these are what the cleaning tabs look like. So I'm gonna grab a cleaning tab I'm gonna grab a cleaning tab and I'm gonna put it in the coffee drawer. The coffee drawer is where you'd put ground coffee. So I'm gonna just pull this out, drop it right in there. I'm gonna push that in and go ahead and close that. Now, it's gonna say remove water filter if inserted. So the water filter will be on your water jug. Okay, so it'll actually sit right in here. I don't have a water filter, but I will show you later on in the video me putting a water filter in here. I have a whole house water filtration system, so I don't use it, but I will insert it at the end. Close the door. I can go ahead and hit the start button. Now it says fill water tank with 0.5 water, add descaler, reinsert into the tank. Now, this is our descaler, and it's going to say pour a third of the bottle into the reservoir. So I'm going to pull this out. 0.5 liters, there's a mark right here. So I'm going to put it to 0.5. I'm going to empty a little bit of that out. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a third of the bottle. So this doesn't have any measurements on it, but a third would probably be about right there, I would say. So I'm gonna put it right to about the bottom portion of that circular line. There we go. So I see it right here. It's kind of hard to do. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, this is gonna go through so many different rinses that It'll take care of itself, ultimately. Okay, pull the suction tube from the milk container. So what they're saying is, if you store a milk container inside here with the suction tube on, you need to pull that milk container. It shouldn't really be here unless you just had a cup of coffee and were using it. But you need to pull that out, and then they're going to say, go ahead and, and push that down. There's a little plastic piece that this will go right into. Uh, unfortunately, on this particular machine, it's missing. And then it's gonna be 19 minutes. So we're gonna come back and follow the directions as needed. 
So it's been 19 minutes on our coffee maker and we've got a empty drip tray message on the control panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull out our drip tray and as you can see, it's fairly full of water. So I'm gonna just empty that out real good. Put that back in. All right, hit start and it's gonna go another five minutes. So we're gonna let that go through and come back. So another indicator just came up, empty drip trays. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this out. And as you can see, there's a ton of water in there. So we wanna make sure that we get all of the water out of the trough area here, because it may give us a false reading that the trays are still full, especially right here because that can happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in and we're gonna let the water tank rinse. We've got another empty drip tray indication. So I'm gonna go ahead and just carefully remove that again. Go ahead and empty that. Okay, we'll let that go through. Water tank's gonna be filling and we'll let that take its course. So we've got another empty drip tray message. So we're just gonna continue through. And then when I get this one emptied, I'll show you what the control panel is gonna look like. It's gonna be water tanks gonna be filling again. And then you'll see there'll be an indicator that'll pop up on the control panel. So what it's saying, reinsert water filter and confirm with start and or stop. So that'll just, and then what it's gonna say is confirm with start. It'll go ahead and fill that water container. And then we're almost done. We've got a couple more programming things to, to let take its course. And then uh, ultimately it'll be done. So we've got two minutes left, so stay tuned. So we had said that we had two minutes left on the prior portion of our cleaning process. Well, now it's jumped up to five. So it may vary depending on where you are in the clean and descale portion. So don't be alarmed if you see those times jumping. Uh, they will fluctuate. So when it beeps to tell you to do something, that's really when you have to react. So I just wanted to, to kind of point that out. So we're back in the clean and descale cycle has been completed. So I'm just gonna press a button. And as you can see, it goes right to our clean and descale. Well, we obviously don't wanna run it through again. Okay, so you can toggle through. I'm actually going to just, I hit the settings just so it got out of there. And now I'm going to clean this out for the last time, but also what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna clean the rest of the coffee maker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the best way to do that. So we're gonna continue on taking everything out of this machine. So this little door, so it's just grab up top here, pull forward, this will pop out. So we'll just set that off to the side. Now, this is our brew unit. It is imperative that you clean this. You clean this frequently, because if not, it's going to get stuck in there and the coffee is gonna act almost like glue. So you gotta make sure you clean it. So the first thing you wanna do is unlock it. And then there's a little lever over here. And what you wanna do is you wanna just gently pull on it and pull out. Now what I do is I try and put my hand under because there's all kind of coffee grounds left. And if you notice, I mean, look at that. This thing is filthy. So we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna go ahead and clean this. We're just gonna use hot water. We're not gonna use any type of detergents because we've got gaskets on here that can get deteriorate with any type of detergents. You can get a, a toothbrush. You can actually get you know, just anything small to get in the various areas, but 
I'm gonna just wipe it off ever so slightly. And then I'm gonna just let that sit there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a rag. Now this is where I am gonna put some dishwashing detergent on because I'm not really gonna touch anything inside the machine that the detergent will harm. So inside, if you'll notice, this whole area, you know, and we've got a bunch of coffee just sitting right here. You really wanna get in there and, and kinda of wipe all that off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that there's no ancillary blockage here. So I'm actually, I've got a, a, a cleaning pad here that I don't have any soap on it. I have a little bit of vinegar, white vinegar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that that's clean. And then this area in here gets blocked sometimes. So if, if you're seeing that the water doesn't drain the way it typically has, it's because that gets blocked with coffee grounds. So you push on the back here and then you just make sure you can get a toothbrush in there too or toothpicks and then get this back portion real good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in. So one thing that I always wanna point out, when you put your filter back in, line it up, put this in first, and then push down till it clips in. You gotta make sure it clips in. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this into place. Did a fairly decent job of drying that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna line this up. There's a track on one side, track on the other push it all the way in, and then you'll see the lock. So I'll lock that in place, and then I'll grab our door, our door, just a clip in there. Okay, and then we'll put our container back in. So I've got our container, slide that back in. Now, again, we talked a little bit earlier in the video, but You'd, most of the time you're gonna have a little plastic piece here that your milk tube will sit into. I broke mine and I, I don't use the milk tube so I'm not really gonna worry a lot about that. Stainless steel cleaner. Uh, it is water-based. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on here. And then I'm gonna just, just clean the inside area. Be sure to comment below about our video. I mean, we, uh, we try and put these videos together to inform you, our customers, prospective customers, or just to help anybody out there that has a similar appliance. We'd love to hear from you. Go to donsappliances.com for any of the product cleaning items that you saw in this coffee maker, and we look forward to having you on another video.